we're all craftsmen, we use our hands, we build things. At the end of the day, there's no better satisfaction to me than seeing what you've done. Jerry Purser was one of the first employees on the picket line this morning. He explained the pension issue and why workers are sticking to their guns, voting down the new contract by an overwhelming 94%. They eliminated it for anybody that was hired after the last contract. And essentially that just means you have your have and your have nots. These young people deserve the opportunity to have a pension just like everybody else. The demonstration got heated early as replacement workers arrived at the plant. We're going to stand here for what's right. Linda Louie has worked here for more than 25 years. They can bring in as many workers as they want in, into this plant. The, the craft that we've built up over years is not going to be met in one day, five days, five years. Louie says the offer from Triumph is a slap in the face. I was going to retire in four years because I've been here, I'll be here uh, 26 years in July. Now, without that pension, I can't retire for eight year, for eight more years. She and others questioned Triumph's decision to bring in that substitute workforce, citing the strict specifications and standards their manufacturing team is held to. Those are our jobs, and they're trying to fill them with substandard workers. Employees here say the parts they build for companies like Boeing, Airbus, and Bombardier are vital pieces of large commercial aircraft carrying hundreds of passengers. Their safety is carried on our backs and we take that very, very seriously. <laughs> Union members say this strike was a last resort. They'd much rather return to the work they love to do.